so there are a lot of ways from which you can send email in Laravel but in this video I'm going to show you that how can you send email with the help of form and also with markdown file so here you can see this is the form that I have designed with Tailwind CSS and in this form I just added first name last name email and message field and this is just a static form it is not dynamic yet so let's open the code editor and in the in this application I just added a controller that is contact controller and it is in this controller I added a function that is index function and it is and in this function I'm just returning a view that is index view and in this index view I have designed that contact form now let's add a new function in this controller to handle the uh, send mail functionality and this function should accept the request because it will handle the form request so in this function we will write the logic to send email but for now let's tie down the request uh, let's that means let's add them the uh, form data now let's go to our web.php and let's create a route for this function and this route should be post request and let's say contact slash send dash mail and then the contact controller class and then the function that is send mail function that we have created now let's give this route a name let's say send dash mail now we can use this route into our form so let's go to index view and in this form let's add a attribute that is action and in this action let's use route function and let's use the send dash mail route and we do not need any id parameter in this route now let's add a method attribute and, and method should be a post because it will handle the post request and do not forget to add csrf token now here you can see in our form we have first name last name email and message field now uh, do not forget to change the type of this button to submit now let's save this view and let's go to application and refresh it now let's use fake filler to fill the data and let's send message here you can see now we can easily diadem our request that means our request is working we are getting first name last name email and message from the form now uh, we have created our route we have created we have added our route into the form now let's add the mail file and the uh, markdown file so you can create your mail file and markdown file with php artisan so in the terminal let's write php artisan make colon uh, mail and this will create your mail file and then after this command you need to give your mail file a name so let's give contact us mail and then double dash markdown equals to then the folder name in which you want to create your markdown file let's say email then dot and then the name of the markdown file so let's say contact us email now let's run this command and this will create your mail file and your markdown file now let's go and find the file that we have created so the first file that we have created is the mail file so you can find the mail file in under the app folder and under the app folder you can find a folder that is mail folder and here you can see that there is our file that is contact us mail and it is a simple class and in this class we have a constructor and a function that is build function and in this build function we are returning our markdown uh, file here you can see now the second file that we have created is the uh, markdown file and the markdown file we can find in the views folder and under the views folder here you can see the folder that we have created that is email and in this folder we have our markdown file over here so uh, let's go to the uh, before writing logic into the construct constructor let's go to the mail file and in this let's write some logic first of all let's create a variable let's say mail data now we have created a class variable now let's pass the parameter to the constructor and with the help of this parameter variable we can assign the data to the class variable with the help of the this keyword now uh, we now we can use this mail data class variable 
in our markdown file so in the build function here you can see we are returning a markdown function and in the markdown function we are just passing the name of the markdown file as we usually do with the uh, help of view function now let's uh, use with function and in the with function let's pass an array and in this array let's use this mail data variable we, uh, so in this mail data variable we will get the form data the contact us form data so let's save this and now we can use this contact us mail file into the, our controller so let's go to our contact controller so in the send mail function that we have created we can use the contact us mail class so let's use the try cache block and i suggest you to use try cache block block especially when you are working with post request yeah, so in the try block let's create a variable and this variable should be a uh, array variable because we want to store the uh, contact form data so the first thing we need is the name uh, from the contact form so let's concatenate the first name and the last name uh, coming from the uh, request coming from the contact form now the second thing uh, we need is the email that is also coming from the uh, contact uh, form so we can easily get this email with the help of the request so, and the third thing we need is the message and we can also get the message with the help of the request now what we are doing we are storing the contact us form data into this array variable with the help of the request now uh, let's use the mail class that is inbuilt facet mail class and uh, you can use this class uh, into your controller and do not forget to import this uh, mail class at the top of your controller like this here you can see now we can use the function from this class so the first function we need to use is the to function and in this function we need to provide the email on which we to which we want to send email like this we can provide the email directly but this is not a good way so we will provide the email with the help of the .env file so let's go to our .env file and let's scroll down a little and here you can see you can find the email configuration and you can change your email configuration email variables according to your server so if your application is on a live server or in production that then you can use uh, your email your own email credential from your cpanel server but I'm going to use the email testing tool so there are a lot of email testing tool out there that you can use but the one I'm going to use is the mail trap so let's go to the mail trap.io and from here you can create your account if you haven't created yet but I have created my account so I'm going to log in to my account and after login to the account or sign up to your account you can see this kind of dashboard now from here you need to create your inbox first so click this add inbox button then give your inbox a name let's uh, say testing and let's click save and here you can see your inbox has been created so click this uh, inbox so here you can see there are uh, multiple options here smtp settings email address auto forward manual forward team members so you need to go to the uh, first option that is smtp settings and uh, here you can see the integrations option here so from the integration uh, drop down you can select laravel 7 plus and then you can get the email credential of your server so let's copy these credentials and let's go to your env file and let's paste it in here now uh, here you can see there is a one variable here mail from address equals to null now you need to provide the email that you have on your server so i have this email uh, in on my server so I need to provide the same email into this mail from address variable now in this to function I can use this email with the help of the env uh, function and in this env function I can uh, call this mail from address variable so I will get this uh, email with the help of the env file now uh, the other function that we have to use is the send function and this function help us to send the email now in the argument of this function we need to pass the instance instance of this contact us mail class so let's pass the instance of this contact us mail class and uh, 
and in the contact us mail class argument we need to provide the variable that is mail data variable so we have created this array variable so let's pass this mail data variable here now let's save this now let's return redirect back with a message with a success message uh, let's say email send successfully and let's save this now in the catch uh, in the catch block we also need to return redirect back but with a error message so let's say something went wrong now let's save this now in the index view uh, we need to uh, print out the success message so let's use the if statement and in the if statement let's use the session function and with the help of the session function let's use the has function and in the has function uh, provide the message title message name that is success that we have provided in our controller so if our session has success message then this div will be printed out <coughs> so after giving some tailwind classes to this div let's add a span here and in this span let's uh, use session function again and with the help of this session function now we can use get function and in the get function let's use the success uh, message so in this way the success uh, message will be printed out if the email sent successfully now let's save this and let's go to the application and refresh this now let's use fake filler and let's click send message and here you can see uh, we got our success message email sent successfully and in the mail trap here you can see we also get the email uh, uh, with a uh, beautiful design and this design is our markdown file now we are not getting the first name last name email and message into our uh, email so how can I get this so uh, so this that's why we add the markdown file so let's go to the uh, our markdown file that is contact us uh, email so uh, this is the markdown file here you can see the introduction heading here here you can see the introduction heading the body of message here the body of message thanks laravel is here so uh, instead of introduction we need to uh, write here hello i am then the name and we can get the name with the help of the mail data variable that we have passed in the contact us mail class here you can see in the build function we have passed this uh, variable so we can easily get this mail data variable into our markdown file so we can get the name email and message in our markdown file so uh, let's use this and this is an array variable so we can get the name uh, with the help of this array variable and in the body we can uh, easily get the uh, <coughs> we can easily get the message with the help of this array variable like this so let's save this and uh, if you need a button you can pass the URL into this button you can change the text uh, like learn more or then and then you can also provide the uh, URL but I don't need any button in this template for now so let's save this and let's test this out again let's use fake filler and let's click send message again and now we should get the uh, name and message into our email so you can see email sent successfully now uh, let's go to the mail trap now you can see we ca we are getting the data the form data into our uh, markdown file so this is how easy it is to send email with the help of contact form also with the help of the markdown file now the one last thing here is the uh, logo here you can see in the header of this markdown file we have a logo here so how can we change the logo of the header of this markdown file now to change the logo uh, in the header of your uh, markdown file you just need to go to the vendor folder of your project here you can see this is the vendor folder into your root directory and in the vendor folder you just need to go to the uh, laravel folder so uh, under the laravel folder you can find the src folder framework folder then src then illuminate and in this illuminate folder you need to find the mail folder and here you can see this is the mail folder and in this mail folder here is the resources folder and in here we have 
bunch of components and these are the components that we can use into our markdown file so we need to go to the header component header.blade.php and in here we need to change the image link here you can see this is the image so let's change the src link and let's add the asset function and in the asset function let's add the let's add our logo now let's save this file and let's go to application and let's send the uh, email again and let's go to the mail trap now here you can see we got our new email and in this email here you can see we have successfully changed the logo so we have our own logo here so this is how you can change your uh, header logo into your markdown file and this is how you can send email with the help of this contact form